I'm unbiased, but come on, Andre. Let's go, Andre. All right, start of game one for in losers' quarters, Corey versus Andre. Oh, Andre's got to get in there. He can't let the ring attacks <laughs> get him. Bayonetta there is a, okay, okay. a pretty light character. She gets KO'd really easy. K. Rule is just made of lead, and oh, he can take damage up to 200% before he gets killed. The other stupid thing about K. Rool is three of his attacks, I believe, have super armor, which means he does not flinch. All right, right there. There's stock number oh, one. That was, was a little too fast. So Andre's going to need more than just doing damage. He's going to have to knock K. Rool off the side and gimp him. He's going to have to force that need recovery. Absolutely. He's playing right into his strengths right now. Those smash attacks aren't going to work very well. But he's a smart player. I think you'll find that. Oh, nice. We need about 10 more of those. Alright, what would your Corey's strategy slowing be? slowing it down a little bit. Uh, my strategy? I don't really know how to play against a big heavy with all the Beautiful! Oh, nice. A good alternative move right there might have been a down smash. You could it, uh, you could do the boot stomp off stage, spike Corey down before he can even reach the ledge. That would kill at an earlier percent. All right, so we're at two stocks apiece. Uh, Andre's at about 100%. Corey's at about 15%. Pretty quiet commentary. <laughs> it is. It's uh, some pretty repetitive gameplay here. It's Corey runs away, uh, he rolls twice, and then he throws a projectile. One? Oh, that was only one roll that time. Alright, Andre's gotta keep punching him with that demon fist. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Come on, Andre. I mean, at least he's gotten over two minutes, three minutes in. So he's, at least he's dragging it out. The thing Corey's doing a very good job um, of is, oh my god, wow, is holding, he's holding center stage. That way he's never on the edge for Andre to just forward smash him and get that early kill. And if you got center stage and you can spam your projectiles, it's really hard for anybody to approach you. Especially on a stage like Battlefield, which I think definitely heavily favors King K. Rool. If I was Andre, I would not have agreed to start on Battlefield. A better stage would be a flatter stage, or perhaps uh, Kalos, or Pokemon Stadium 2. Shit, that was close. Do it! Uh, so what is his counter to this? What is his best means of attack in this situation? Um, a different stage completely, I would say. I hope Andre can hear me. <laughs> Andre, pick a different stage. I think he's play. He's forced to play into to K. Rule's hands too much. He has to play at his pace, his rhythm. And if you're going toe to toe with a heavy, you're just gonna lose. Especially a heavy that has an amazing recovery, super armor, and two different projectiles. Oh, Luigi's Mansion. Take him there. The ghost will get him. Okay, that's a, that's an okay pick. Will they change the characters up though? I would recommend Andre maybe try someone different. I see he's thinking Banjo and Kazooie. A throwback to his youth. Childhood memories, really, just growing up in Peru. Yeah. <laughs> Min Min, interesting. He's never played Min Min. I want to see Andre pick a head. Oh no, not Kirby. Oh no. no don't this do is this when to you yourself, Andre. This is when you know his confidence has just been yes. rocked. <laughs> He's returning to the only one he knows. He's folding. <laughs> He's cracking. All right. Well. This is his favorite Kirby stage, because, to quote him, there are no platforms to stop the down B. 
Ooh, that could have been a really good attack there. So even when he's not playing K. Rule, Koi does a really good job at holding down that center stage. I think Andre needs to um, maybe not um, telegraph his move so much. Good start though. He's up already 90% on it. It's true. Can he hold this off? Will we get our first uh, two-sided game of the night? I would love to see it. And I know to the all the fans downstairs, they would love to see it too. And the millions at home. Alright. Corey's got his go. Can he remember the combo? Probably. Oh, he oh. did. Power Geezer. Andre's not going to get him with the hammer. He needs to keep the same. His standing is. I agree. Or at least try to get him a little bit flustered and out of position. Good thing about Corey, uh, he's a, whoa, right. beautiful. He's a very defensive player. He doesn't ever put himself at a disadvantage. Uh, Andre doesn't have the same mentality. He'll just go for shit that doesn't work. And sometimes it works. <laughs> sometimes it works. Sometimes it works. But if you're uh, playing a really aggressive um, playstyle versus a very defensive playstyle, most times the defensive player is going to win because they control the pace of the game. So if Andre's going to continue to play like this, he needs to be more aggressive. But just since he's a lighter character, he can't afford to trade so much. Absolutely. Maybe even wall him out with some of his projectiles. His up B, the shockwave, can be used to zone out Terry, force Terry to approach from above. Then you can catch him with an up air or get him uh, with your up B. Again, I don't know if Andre knows this. Maybe he does because he just did it. But up B drags down. You can spike with it. Beautiful up B cancel. What am I saying he doesn't know this? Look at him. I forgot who I'm talking about. The Kirby Master himself. All right. He's turning the tables. Power Geyser. Nice. Oh, All right, if, if he can get this clean... St oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. no! Heartbreak. <laughs> Did he just throw it away? Oh, my God. Oh. A seasoned pro like Andre will keep his composure. Oh, shit. All right. He's just got to remember... Clean. He's got to keep it clean. Remember where he came from. Remember the mountains of Peru. The air, like the mountains of Peru. Yes. Back to your ancestral roots. They were airbenders. They lived in the sky. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Forced them into a mistake. Excellent play by Kirby. All right, game three, one, one. <laughs> We hope you're loving the commentary downstairs. It was a little uh, oh, cold at first, but it's starting to warm up a little bit. Woo! That's what we like to see. You never want to see a one-sided beatdown. Nobody no. wants to see that. Have we had a 1-1 game yet? No, this is the first is one the of the night. One. This is, for those who are keeping, uh, those who aren't keeping track at home, this is game or match number nine. This is the first not 3-0 we've had so far. So it only took nine matches to, to get our our first uh, counter pick win. Oh, he's gonna get crushed by BD though. Well, say Andre stands zero chance. If we're speaking canonically, I think Kirby beats DDD in uh, Kirby's own game, Kirby's Superstar Dreamland Adventure Adventure. But we'll see. Can the hero defeat the villain? All right, so Corey's DDD is still plays very defensive, but it's it's, it's a lot more. It, well, it is very annoying. It's more aggressive, um, and so if he's going to be going for things that, uh, like Andre's going for, big hammer hits, big power moves, and trading with Andre, Andre's going to lose. So he needs to change up his strategy here, because he can't go toe to toe with a character like this. Oh my God. 
He almost lost it right there and there. Oh, his dreams. Of oh. oh my god. Walked right into it. That wasn't even a shockwave, that was the actual hammer. Double hit there. Now, I don't know if Andre knows this, but moves in this game stale, which means if you use them excessively, they do less damage over time. Which is why it's always important to mix up your moves. And not down B. And not, <laughs> no, not only down B, because it does less damage every time you do it. Even after you die? Um, Lose a stock? It's interrupted when you do other moves. Okay. Um, but if you're just spamming a move, it, it does consider- Wow, what a dodge. Well, that's disappointing. Alright, so, well, three stocks to one. I think Andre needs to change up his strategy. Immensely. This stage is really working well for DDD. Uh, he's got more space to run away, and he's got three platforms to hide under. There we go. Well done, Andre. But he's got to clean it up here. Can't take any more hits. Jeez. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Merry Christmas, everyone. Wow. You know, for being one of the lightest characters in the game, Andre's just really going in there. No fear. Ooh, excellent new combo right there. You just need like he's gotta 17 be, more of those. He's got to be uh, a little more technical with his movement, though. Shit. And it's over. All right, going to game four. Who do we have up? next? No, no, no. Oh wait, that's right. It's not. It's not over. All Andre right. Andre still has a chance. All right, so game four, Andre's counter pick is going to be really important here. Hopefully it's a little more complicated. He, uh, oh, Mitch, if you can hear no, me, you have to stop them. Oh, no, stop this. Hold on. Well, stop this. Oh, wait. There's a rule about this that I didn't actually say because it never comes up. It's Andre's pick. I know. You can't pick a stage that you've already won on. Please excuse this technical rule difficulty. I'm back! Back and better than ever. Alright. Alright, so in Smash Brothers, there's a rule uh, known as Dave's Stupid Rule, which is if you win on a stage, you can't, and it was your counter pick, you chose it, you can't go back to that stage. So Andre chose Final Destination, and then he won on it. And then when it was counter pick again, he chose it again. Corey agreed to it, um, so it's allowed, but normally you can't do this. Hopefully, you know, this is what Andre needs to win to snuff out Corey's Isabel, one of his most irritating characters. One of his like all of Corey's characters are irritating. I think it's more him as a player than it is. Yeah, the I, was, I, was, I was getting there, but uh, <laughs> you beat me to the punch. He's, uh... Oh, did he? Oh, I thought he made a mistake there. Sick hair. Sweet. Nice. Come on, Andre. Get that hammer in there. Oh, yeah. You should have hammered him. Alright, right off the bat, this is already a much closer match. Oh, you didn't have to do that yet. That was... All right, so Corey's playing a very uh, methodical game. He's setting up his traps. And once again, holding the middle and forcing Andre to the edges. Where he's so much more vulnerable. It's a good thing Andre is a master of the offstage game. This doesn't affect him. Poor DI there. He probably could have lived that if he DI'd upward. I don't know if you knew that. For those of you that don't know, DI is directional influence or input. Um... If you get launched and you hold up, that will stop some of your uh, horizontal momentum and transfer it upward, so it can make you live a lot longer. 
All right. Um, Andre's he's... just getting wrecked by the ranged attacks right now. Yeah, he's just getting picked apart. He needs a different answer than up B and down, down B. B. <laughs> <laughs> needs to take control of the middle. Yeah. All right. The winner of this will determine, you know, who's in the top four of this tournament. He's gotta get more creative. He's doing the... Each time he's played with Kirby, it's been the same move every time. I think so... Corey may have uh, figured out his strategy. Yeah, it's... Once, uh... He figures his strategy out, it's pretty easy to defend against. Now, if you were Kirby, what would you be looking for against Corey's Isabel? Uh, he's got to keep it close. Use the hammer a little bit more. Not let him use the ranged attacks. Like he's doing right now. He's doing a great job right now. He's keeping him close. He's actually taking control of the middle just the last 30 seconds or so. Yeah. He forced Corey to play around him. Now, what Andre might not know is that Kirby also has a lot of other attacks. Um, such as like his nair, his down air, his up air, his over air, um, and then all of his ground attacks. Uh, they're very good options. Uh, some might say even better than his up B and down B, but Andre doesn't seem to be implementing any of them. I'd say Kirby's nair is, is one of his better moves. Boy, I don't, I don't know. Oh. oh shit! All Andre right, goes the gusto and loses it. All right, Corey wins. Good aggressive play though. He really did make a better technical play there in the last stock. I mean, statistically speaking, this was our closest match of the day, three-one, and Corey moves on to loser semifinals versus Terra.